put your hands together for Fede Legrand. All right. Yeah. Thank you for taking time out to chat to us. Uh, we were just literally watching your set at Tomorrowland. How was that? It looked like you had a good time. No, it was great. V very warm though, but it was it, it was it was absolutely great. And you know, it's 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 just one of those things. I mean, we we all of us do like a lot a lot of festivals in the year, but this is like there, there's a few that are like extra special, and I think this is definitely one of one of those, and it's, it was great. Yeah. And you got to talk. Go on, Nugget. Yeah. Jade's like, Jade's like, uh, you're from... I know what's coming. So I'm from Detroit. Can you act surprised like we didn't talk about it before the interview? <laughs> oh, you're from Detroit? Um, so we uh, we had a, a huge ins insurgence. I don't think that's a word, but I'm going to use it here. Let's all just guess what it means. Insurgence of, uh, of your song. Put your hands up for Detroit. And that was the soundtrack to my entire life for maybe five years oh, really? in Detroit because okay. it never stopped. I mean, I'm sure they are still playing it. Yeah, I, I, every I, I night. think at like like uh, sport matches, they I think they still they still use it. How do you not? Uh, and I actually met my girlfriend for the first time when your song was playing. Really? Okay. My ex, my ex, my first girlfriend. <laughs> We're not together okay. anymore, but it was it was okay, a great sorry. experience. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we met because of your song, so I just wanted to personally say thank awesome. you. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, well, when's the last time you played in Detroit? And do you play in Detroit, Detroit, or do you do like Pontiac, the suburbs, all that? Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, yeah. I've mainly, I've, yeah, I've mainly done the the, the outsides. Uh, Jade's like, what is going on? <laughs> no, no, no. But, but the, the, the the funny thing was, I, I remember like when the track was just out. Like my my first uh, interviews were like people were asking me like. Okay, why why Detroit? You know, and then like, have you ever been to Detroit? It's like no. Nope. So yeah. I mean, but I I yeah I, pl I played. I think I did the uh, Pontiac, right? Yeah, Pontiac for sure. A casino once as well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, no. So I've I've, I've, I've been a few times. So I, I'm just gonna give you what's happening in Detroit. So back when the song came out. It was like seven, there was a strip of seven clubs and it's where everybody yeah, would go. I remember In that, that city. Yeah. yeah. And now it's just one giant EDM club. Oh, really? And so you've got this weird club situation that's kind of been developing all over. Do you feel like, how's the club scene when you release the song versus now? Woo, okay, you know, I think a lot has changed. I mean, but, but, but I think the biggest a game changer in general was when sort of like the whole of America got into into dance music. I think that that was a, a, a real big game changer because like from there it kind of like spread worldwide. I mean, I think before that it was sort of like still underground because I, re I remember my first gigs, especially in America, like I remember doing uh, Vegas and I would play for like half an hour. Someone else would uh, go on, play hip hop. And then I would go back, and that was just like super normal, you know. So it was still quite, quite, quite underground. So I think, I, I, I think when because especially uh, Detroit and Chicago, it's always been there. But I think when like everyone kind of embraced dance music, I, I think that has been such a big game changer. And like um, it, it went way more poppy and way more commercial. And but at the same time, also. Um, um, more professional, you know, like it's not only the music that grew, but also like festivals and, and everything. I mean, look, and it look, being look commercial right brought now. it to the forefront as a whole. Yeah. In the States specifically. Yeah. And it's almost like the rest of the world is like years ahead of the States as far as EDM in uh, some respects. Well, I, 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 yeah. I mean, like the, the funny thing, it, it, it started in the States, of course, or it, 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 yeah, Detroit was yeah, a yeah, big yeah, hub for techno. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then like Europe embraced it and it kind of did his whole own thing here and then like in the end it kind of got got back but i think you guys caught up really quick so <laughs> hey, it's, all right. it's all good it's well, all good all, all i know <laughs> is that from what some of your comments on your youtube video of that track the uh, the music video is if anyone does put their hands up in detroit then their things would go missing from the pockets and stuff. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I feel like we can say that. Not As the comment. person who made the song and somebody yeah. from Detroit, we can definitely say planning. that that happens. I see what you're planning. That's Heist. a little horrible though. So my song is an excuse to steal yeah, exactly. from other people. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's like, quick, quick, he's playing. Um, <laughs> And you, you're Let Me Think About It as well. We looked at the comments, didn't we, for that? Oh yeah, we um, actually found really the coolest good. comments. The Ida Core and, and you is is being listed kind of rediscovered every year so here are the top comments on the mu on the music video for the extended version where there's an actual music video top comments are if i ever have to make a dramatic entrance this is my song <laughs> and then who's listening 2018 and there's like 
thousands of likes on that comment. Okay, and wow. then, who's listening July 2019? And again. Thousands okay, of likes okay. on that comment. All these That's people awesome. just discovering it for the first time. And then the best comment is, uh, hey, who's here listening in 2042? <laughs> 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 Guy's just trying to get some likes, man. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, there's like a myth about uh, DJs doing pre-recorded sets um, in terms of to go in time with the fireworks and the lights. What do you think about that? Um, it's a good question. Uh, I'm personally not for it. And it's not, well, nowadays it's not an excuse anymore to, uh, like, to sync the lights or stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's that's not true anymore. Because um, your uh, VJ or your LJ, which is like, yep. the VJ is VJ, but LJ is your light, light joggy. Um, they can they can read the tempo information of your track and then accordingly start whatever visuals you need or whatever uh, the lights need to do. So you can still even if you would be sp scratching, the lights would do the same wow. thing. So, so people can't use that as a cop out. No, anymore. no. So so the the technique now is is far enough that that's not an excuse anymore. And I I I I just don't like it to yeah. be really honest because I think you know I mean it's. Through all the techniques there, it's already so relatively easy if you compare yeah. it to like vinyl days to, mm -hmm. to just do a do a set and mix. So just 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 you know do do that as lead. I mean and and I personally think like you know being a DJ is, is not about you know mixing two tracks together. Mm -hmm. It's it's about actually reading the crowd. Uh, if it's very hot, I think you have to play a little slower. If it's raining, you probably have to you know play a little a little harder yeah. to, to to keep the people there. And it's it's there's so much more involved in my personal opinion that that it it, it just in my opinion just couldn't couldn't work. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm not not for yeah it, sorry. okay. And Dubai, that's where we are. Uh, that's where we broadcast from. Where we when will you be coming to uh, to Dubai? Anytime soon. We've got a Would flight you like that you to? could probably jump on yeah. with us. We've got it. <laughs> in, in I, I know you know everything about yeah. flights. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, I, 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 I don't, there's not a, a date set as far as I know, but my my schedule is full until um, October. Okay. So. So October. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. But yeah. Okay. And Agreed. We, uh, we have Made in the UAE, which we play out every single week on the show, and it's basically giving up and coming artists the opportunity to showcase their music. Do you have any sort of advice for those young up and coming DJs? Uh, I mean, like it, it's it, it is really tough, but I think it's always been tough. I mean, it's easier now to like simply buy a laptop and start producing. So in in that regards, it's actually easier because like you know, way back when you would have to buy like a whole studio with with hardware and stuff. So that was a little uh, bit more complicated. But at the same time, that also means that there's a lot more guys and girls uh, mm -hmm. producing but I, I i think it's it's kind of same when you're an actor you know just don't get discouraged if you don't get feedback right away because i i i do check all the promos myself but if it's, if it's not good enough i just don't have the time to like answer everyone so yeah. if you don't get an answer that doesn't mean that that it's 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 you know not good at all but um so don't get discouraged and like keep keep sending stuff and and try to i always see like cooking you know i mean you the, the first time sure you you follow the recipe but then slowly you know you put in some more salt yeah. or a little bit of this so so it's it's not bad to to start off copying stuff but mm -hmm. then kind of like try to to you know work in your own preference and yeah and yeah and don't pre-record your sets no, no. Ah. especially that and you you have uh, some absolutely amazing tracks what what happens to the fans have you got any like crazy stories of fan reactions when you drop one of your really good tracks like on you know live for example here earlier today i think i i, I mean i think i think i mean you, you when i make music it's like you're you're always looking for that rush i guess mm -hmm. if it's on stage but also in the studio you kind of want to have like oh, yeah this is like this is awesome but i i think after that you kind of like um let it go and, and but i think if, if if it like brings you that feeling that that's the most important thing for me but after that you kind of don't really know what it does but I, but i had s several occasions where uh, you just have no idea what it what it means for for a person i, I had a, a, a girl who had to do um I, I mean she was cured in the end but she had to do chemo 
which is very heavy. Mm. But she had such a good vacation and and such a good uh, good time on uh, the, the Detroit actually in, in this case. So she has had such such good memories of mm. the song that she that's where she she got her power wow. from to every time. So you, you know you just don't and it has nothing to do with with me. It's just like it's it's just a good thing that you're like a teeny tiny part yeah. of. Of, of yeah, doing yeah. something positive, and I also I like with the uh, the so much love track I did that a guy was going through like a very rough phase, mm -hmm. and that song uh, pulled him through a little bit. So it's it's just um, and you're just hearing one percent of those stories. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Maybe, like there's plenty of people that have that that you never hear about. No, no, but but I think in general you you, you don't know what what music does. But I think when you make it and it, it gives you a good feeling, you can only hope that it it, it does the same thing. That's that's what actually what I'm. I'm trying to yeah, say it yeah. with a very long story, but it does the same thing at, uh, with with someone else. Yeah, That's cool. And have you got anything new coming out soon? Anything on the horizon? Yeah, I mean, like for um, I I did a, um, a thing with uh, uh, Tomorrowland. There, there was a contest uh, contest actually, which uh, is a track called uh, "Nobody Does It Like We Do." Mm -hmm. And I have a track out now actually called "Skank," mm -hmm. the dance. And uh, <laughs> uh, Katie, no, no, Katie is that up? Are we getting the thumbs up on that? It's a dance. Okay. It's a dance. Right. It's also a dance. Yeah. It's also a dance. Right? That's, that's why I correct myself. The dance. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, we just uh, premiered here a new track coming up with Afrojack and a new track with two meter figs like Mike and W and W. Amazing. Cool. Can't wait for that. Thank, thank you, Fatty Legrand. Thank you for coming, man. Thank you, man. So nice thank to meet you. Me. you. Yeah. Yeah.